Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Hit the bell icon button so that you don't miss out any tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how to work with Python idle and Python interpreter. So once Python is installed, essentially two executables are installed with it. You can either open up the Python shell, which is 3.5.0 version, or you can open up the Python interpreter as well which again is 3.5 version. So in this instance, I've opened up both of these so we can take a look at and see how Python works and what the difference is between these two. First, I'm gonna talk about on the right side of the screen is the Python interpreter. Notice I can of course drag and drop. It is just a command. It is just a program that executable program that I can open, okay? And if I close it and open it up again, it's going to bring this up so i'm going to move this aside okay the cursor is blinking so it's asking me for input so for instance before i actually start working with these just so you know that both of these are similar okay so there's no difference in terms of execution of commands so whichever command i execute here i can also use the python idle to execute the command on this line where my cursor is blinking okay so either way whether i'm using the interpreter or the idle the command is the same so it's still python language doesn't really matter and you'll see the difference of why we use one or the other first i'm going to work with this area which is the python interpreter so for instance here if i give python a command such as four plus six hit the enter key on my keyboard and it displays the result as 10. Pretty straightforward. And Python, by the way, is a simple language. As we move along, you'll notice as we start creating programs, things will be clear to you. But just to give you an example, I just took two numbers, four plus six, and I added them together, hit the enter key on the keyboard, and the answer is 10. Now what happens when I go to my idle? Same thing, four plus six, hit the enter key, and my result is displayed. The only difference obviously is the color coding because the results are displayed in blue and within my interpreter environment, it's just the prompt, okay? So that's one, one of the differences. So as you're entering commands, it's much easier to work with the idle here as opposed to using the interpreter. Okay, great. Second, let's go to our interpreter one more time. So here, for instance, I'm going to say x equals 5 or 4, hit the enter key. And I'm going to say x equals x plus 5, hit the enter key. And I'm assigning just variables here. And I'm going to say print, let's move this aside, x. And it's going to say it's 9. Okay. Same thing within my idle here. I can do the same thing. I can say x equals 4, hit enter, and then I'm going to say x equals x plus 5, hit enter, and I'm going to say simply print x within parentheses, and the answer is 9. Once again, notice the color coding. The print function is in a different color. The results are in different output in, is in a different color, whereas within my interpreter here, it's just one single color and it's going line by line. Now, what if I were to create a program, right? So this is, again, this is fine. I can simply run the commands or tell Python to do something and it does it for me. But one of the shortcomings here, obviously, is that I cannot really edit any one of these. So, for example, if I need to change the value of x from 4 to 8 or 10 or 9, I would not be able to do so. I'd have to re-enter the entire set of commands. Okay, so I cannot really change this. And obviously, within my interpreter environment, I'm also not able to change any one of these. I have to redo or retype. Well, that defeats the purpose of programming because you need to be able to go back to your code and obviously change those things. So in essence, the Python interpreter is good 
for just testing whether your command works or not okay so that's keep that in mind when you're working with python so typically you would just use the idle environment for the most part when you're doing working with python so typically you'll be working with the python shell here as opposed to the python interpreter okay so i'm going to close the interpreter for now and once again this is just to test whether your command or the input that you gave or the function or the variable works or not okay so i'm going to close this for now and here's my shell okay now once again going back to my shell i can again enter a set of series of steps or commands or use variables functions whatever i want to use and it's going to give me the results but recall we talked about the fact that i cannot really go back and change any one of these so what's the solution so what python does it allows me to actually create a program i can also do so in notepad plus plus or any other editor and then run within the python shell but let's explore the menus first first i'm gonna let you know what python idle is so about idle if i click on help and just simply click on about idle it gives me python's integrated development environment so now you know that idle stands for python integrated development environment okay so this is where you would actually start using python and start entering your code okay so let's close out of here so within this python shell some of the other menus are for example file and within the file menu i have an option called new file so if i click on the new file it brings up another shell window i'm going to move this aside make this a little smaller so we can actually see okay great so this is where you would actually start typing your program and then you would run it in the python shell notice a set of menus are different as compared to the menus within the python shell for example there's a run menu option here whereas in the python shell you don't see the run menu option so let me give you an example here so for instance here if I type the same thing so I'm going to say x equals 5 and the next line I'm going to say x equals x plus one more time 5 and then I'm going to print x okay. and notice it uses the same color coding same set of commands but if I hit enter in this area nothing happens because I'm not executing this command anymore all I'm doing is writing my code so this is where you can always go back and change and start building your code obviously I'm using very basic examples and in the next subsequent lessons I'll demonstrate what functions are variables are so you know but right now we're just discussing the when I'm demonstrating the Python shell and then the editor where you would build your code okay so here's my simple code if I need to run this code within the Python shell obviously I can copy and paste here within the Python shell or I can use the run menu and then it gives me the option to run this in Python shell okay. there's a shortcut also I can use my keyboard to run this module by using the F5 key on my keyboard okay. or I can simply click on Python shell which takes me to the Python shell itself but I need to run the module so I'm going to click on run module and of course it asks me to save the module first before it actually runs it so I'm going to click OK to save it and it brings up my window here and I'm just going to call it first and let's see if I can find where I would like to save here's my data files folder and a Python folder and click save and as soon as I click save notice my results are displayed and the answer is 10 and Python also shows me the location of my Python program so this is essentially a program it's called first.py and the location is displayed as well of where this Python program file is stored which means in essence that I can always open this file anytime I like and then build my code okay so this is a very powerful 
way where you can program in Python. So the, the interpreter, which we closed earlier, let me reopen it one more time. Here's the interpreter, okay? So this doesn't really allow you to build your code. It is just there to check whether your command is successful or not successful, okay? Which is similar to the Python shell here. Whereas the shell also allows you to write a set of lines and codes, but it gives you color coding that you can take a look at and see whether it's a valid function or not, or you've assigned the variables correctly or not. And then our editor here, which allows us to actually build the code, and I can save this file by giving it a name, and the file extension name is .py, or call it pi. So here, for example, if I need to enter something else, let's say I'm gonna say print, of course it's case sensitive, and I'm gonna say something like hello world, If I do something incorrect, Python tells me that, hey, wait a minute here, it's not the, the correct syntax. So I, as soon as I type the correct syntax, notice it displays in color coding. So it tells me that, okay, fine, this works now. So hello world. And I can, again, build my module. If I need to run the program, I can simply click on run and run module. Of course, it saves the module first every time and it displays my results. This time, I need, if I need to change something here, for example, if I need to change the value of x from five to seven, I can easily do so within my editor, which I'm unable to do within my Python shell or the Python interpreter. So here, I've just changed the value from five to seven. I need to run it again, run module, of course, save first, and notice here's my result. This time it's 12. So this way, it's a powerful way to keep building programs. So in subsequent lessons, we'll be using the Python shell and the editor here, and we'll create several programs as we move along. And this is the core part of our course where everything that we do, whether we learn about lists, dictionaries, variables, assignments, functions, reserve keywords, and so on. So we'll be using and creating several of these scripts. These are also called scripts, right? Because obviously you're telling the computer a set of commands or using Python language, you're telling it to do something, okay? Next, let me demonstrate a few sample demo programs in Python, okay? Obviously, this is a program that we just created because it gives us something as an output. But within the Python shell, under the help menu, there is a turtle demo. I'm gonna open that up. And this gives you several examples of Python programs, okay? So for example, let's say I select the forest. So on my left is the code in Python. Don't worry about this, you'll get to this stage as well. Once we click start, notice it creates the program for us. And this is all built in Python language, okay? so very powerful language easy to use language as well so if i click on start again it's gonna run the program similarly i can click and check other examples such as color mixer here's the python code on the left i click on start and i can now in this instance drag and it changes the color okay so it just depends on what set of code you've written and the output is displayed, okay? So Python is very powerful. Let me close this demo. So in this lesson, once again, we took a look at the Python interpreter, the Python shell, and of course the editor where we actually write our programs. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and share it. Also check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below.